things are just getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse for Donald Trump. Uh, this headline from the New Republic, this broke yesterday, is a big deal. All these photos of Walt Nada trying to avoid cameras, but yet being unsuccessful in doing so, moving classified documents, so sensitive, some of which were not even able to be generally described in public. And Donald Trump obstructing justice, defying the federal government, not having the power, not having the authority, not having the clearances to possess these documents. Yet he did. Here's the headline from the New Republic. Damning evidence blows up Trump's classified documents defense. It appears he told his Mar-a-Lago staff to avoid security cameras when moving boxes. See, a lot of times in a criminal trial, you have to prove intent. Did they know what they were doing was illegal? Did they have criminal intent? And if indeed, and I would say for sure this happened, uh, if indeed Donald Trump did tell his staff, instruct his staff to avoid cameras, that conveys intent, that he knows what they're doing is wrong, and if they're caught on camera, the jig will be up, so avoid the cameras. Here's the article. Recently unsealed court documents suggest that prosecutors in Donald Trump's classified documents case have even more damning evidence that he tried to obstruct the government's attempt to retrieve the documents. According to supporting documentation for a motion filed by Trump's legal team, the government's subpoena for Mar-a-Lago security footage seemingly led Trump to try to cover up the relocation of the classified documents. Trump was notified of the subpoena in a June 2022 call with one of his attorneys, which pro probably prompted Trump to tell staffers to evade security cameras when moving boxes thereafter. Or so concluded the district judge who oversaw the grand jury in the case. Quote, the government has provided, this is from the judge. This is from a serious, dispassionate, sober-minded official within the judiciary with the power to make determinations such as this. This is what the judge said. Quote, the government has provided sufficient evidence, 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 to demonstrate that the June 24, 2022 phone call may have furthered the former president's efforts to obstruct the government's investigation, Judge Beryl Howell wrote in 2023. The damning details is just one of many revelations that have come out of hundreds of pages of court documents that were unsealed Tuesday. Howell's opinion also described how four more documents with classified markings were discovered on Trump's property, stashed away in his bedroom even months after the FBI raid on Mar-a-Lago. So they, they didn't get everything. And Donald Trump, upon finding out that they didn't get everything, didn't turn over the documents to the federal government. This coming from a Republican Party that screams and wails and talks about national security and love of the troops and the military and trying to keep America safe while having highly top secret documents in his unsecured home that's rife with foreign influencers. And I don't mean like social media influencers. I mean individuals of, of disparate foreign intelligence services who are there to either influence policy or influence their hold on intelligence by gathering it there. And Donald Trump and the Republican Party, they'll defend this to the end. To the end. Howell also found that prosecutors provided sufficient evidence that Trump had, quote, intentionally concealed the existence of additional documents in order to mislead the government and impede the Federal Bureau of Investigation's investigation. Trump faces 42 felony charges in the case related to illegally retaining national security documents and, secu uh, and conspiracy to obstruct justice but the judge overseeing the case has been dragging her feet for months. Judge Eileen Cannon indefinitely delayed the trial earlier this month, purportedly over issues about how to handle classified evidence. Legal analysts worry that these delays could be the Trump appointed judge's way of surreptitiously dismissing the trial altogether. That may, that may, that may come. But I believe this is to delay just enough 
to give Donald Trump a shot at taking back the White House, at which point he will absolutely, without doubt, he's promised as much, scuttle these investigations and these court cases. With a Donald Trump DOJ, do you think the DOJ's case against Donald Trump will continue? Let's be serious with one another. Absolutely not. Donald Trump, this could be the most consequential case of all of them. This and the January 6th case that thankfully is taking place where the crime was committed here in Washington, D.C., are the two most threatening cases to Donald Trump's freedom, not to his candidacy, not to his possible presidency, to his freedom, going to jail for the ex-president. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me as always, daily at dollamore.com. You can just leave a comment below. We can have a conversation there. I'm certain that we can try to disagree agreeably. It's possible. I've seen it done. <laughs> if you want to help support independent media, though, that's the other aspect of the thing I always say at the end of videos, please consider supporting this particular uh, independent media. If I'm not your flavor, if there's someone else out on this platform that gives you more value, that brings you more joy or information or whatever, support that person. If that's David Pakman, go for it. If that's Farron Cousins, do it. If it's someone else out there that you appreciate more, support that person. If it is me though, two bucks a month, Become a channel member right here on YouTube. Click the join button below, see what that's like. You can also go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. All these are fantastic ways to help support independent media and by extension, me and what I do here. I love and appreciate you. I'd love to see you on social media if that's your thing. I'm at Dollamore everywhere and I will see you next time, whether you like it or not. You have a choice in it. You can click or not click. <laughs> uh, be genuine. Take care of one another.